So now it's time to keep making this success by API. So we go to our user's controller. So in here, router and get and this success by for this API pass and then us middleware and then request and response and first uh, if we see this one uh, we need to just save the payment information first inside the user collection just a brief information like price and quantities and payment ID or the name like this put a brief payment information inside the user collection so to do that we first uh, set some variable named the history uh, this will be the array and the let trend section data so this one and secondly we will just uh, uh, put the um, payment transaction information that comes from the PayPal so this this information inside the uh, this one so we need to put this uh, information inside the payment collection so secondly put uh, payment information that come from the PayPal into the payment collection so there the last things we need to do is you know, if we just uh, uh, buy this product uh, if we come in here uh, there is the information about the sold so how many these products was sold before after someone bought this product we need to increase this number so increase the um, amount of number for the sold information so it's kind of a lot of things we need to do inside the success by uh, api if i start it from here first I will bring all of the uh, cart detail information so for each item so history this one uh, inside the history array we will push all the information so date of purchase date now and name will be item and title the ID will be item ID and price will be item the price and quantity will be item and quantity and payment ID will be request and body and payment data and payment ID so we pull all of the our history information inside this history array and then we need to put all of the payment information that come from the PayPal so first we bring this a transaction object I'll put it in here and we will user so now we are making the information uh, in here like this one uh, inside the payment collection we will put this user field and data field and production so user this one so transaction user so we will also do um, transaction and data because you can see data here and we will also need to do the product so transaction and product like this we put all of the our information here here we need to put all of the information here by doing like this so first for the user ID because we have ID in here ID name email request user ID and name 
request the user the name, the last name, the request the user and last name, and the email will be requesting user and email. And for the data, request the body and payment data. And for the product, we just put this history in here. So this history, this one. So first we need to put this history information uh, inside the here the user collection. So we will bring the user model and find one and update. And we will find the user by ID. So request the user and ID. And then we will push the information, the history. So here, uh, this one, hit inside the history field, we will put that information, this history array information uh, inside this history field. So push, put this history array inside in here. And there's one more thing we need to do is the set the cart will be empty because the we say we need to empty the card so that's why we need to do like this and then we will just a uh, new uh, true so an error passing error and user user callback and then if error and return with and json success force and error and now uh, it's time to put this transaction data uh, inside the inside so inside a payment collection payment collection so here we need to bring the payment model and inside the payment model but I need to see we have payment model we don't have so payment uh, require models and payment let's go square down in here so we need to keep going so we put the transaction data in here and then we will make the instance name the payment and then payment and save inside the mongodb and then we will pass in the callback function or if error return risk and json success false and error or if it was successful now it's time to uh, this one uh, increase the amount of number for the sold information so first we need to know how many products were sold uh, in this transaction for each of product. So first, let products in here, and then doc. Docs information is this one. Uh, inside in here, we can see the quantity for this product so we will put so we need to get this products id and this quantity so docs and product and for each item products inside in this empty array push uh put this id this one item id and quantity and item this we put also this quantity item and quantity so now the inside a, a product model so you can see this is sold field so we need to increase this sold field but we don't know how many items we bought but if we bought two items first item the quantity is 2 
and the second item and the quantity is 3. So we need to increase 2 quantity for first item and then 3 quantity for second item. So how do we need to do that for this one? If this one is just only one item without this second item, we can just easily update uh, just this one item by doing like a product and then find one and find one and update and then find by ID and then update by ink like that and then in increase this sword fill but but now the situation is not like this uh, it has the more than one items in here so we cannot use that way so in this situation what we can do is so we need to use this one it is theory so to use this one so we need to download this async uh, dependency by typing npm i async so come back to our uh, text editor in here first uh, turn off our application and type npm install async and save so now we downloaded that async async dependency so we import it here const async and require async and then bring this async in or well, async in here and each series and we put this products in here and item and pull back and products model and update id item id and increment and sold on uh, this one sold fill the item the quantity so we increase this quantity two or three in here this one comes from the this one this product so this quantity and new force and callback and then error if error response json and success false and error response and status and 200 and json and put the success true finally and then we will send the cart data user the cart and then cart detail will be just empty array so this is for this uh success by api it was really hard and long so now we go back to our front end for this success by come in here so after being successful for this success by api so we need to do something first the set show success true and set show total force and we will do dispatch and on success by and we put that cart information response data cart and cart detail response data and cart detail and we make this one inside the uh, user action like this and we need to make this one inside the user action and scroll down in the scene here export and function success by and data return type on so set by user and payload is a data and we need to 
just uh, put the types in here and then uh, make that type inside the types export const or uh, on success by user and then user reducer you put the type in here and uh, case for this type we just made return state user data state user data and cart action and payload and cart cart detail and action and payload and cart detail like this and save it and then last thing we need to do is inside the cart page we want to show this uh, paypal button when the show total is true so like this the show total true we just uh, show this paypal button so this is all for the cart page right now so we go back to our application so we will test it um, uh, first i need to turn our application again npm run that uh, okay uh, in here we need to uh, we need to delete this one so i have one more errors so cannot overwrite product model once compile okay payment payment in here ah okay i need to change this one okay okay all errors has gone right now so go back to our application so i'm going to just uh, buy this travel product login and then pay now uh, but it was not disappears after being successful so maybe i didn't do something okay so i found the problem so it was the post request but i got it as a get request that was the problem i'm going to do it again so so refresh the page and click the paper button well, thankfully it was successful so thank you for watching this long video again i think next video will be the last one so um, see you in our next session thank you